Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. Next month, we are launching the crewed moon landing. No one else even has the science. We are miles ahead of them on this one. Miles ahead of them. We are also competing against China to launch the commercial satellite first. They are launching in eight months. Eight months, but three and a half million. We also have our atmospheric sampling going, which was initially 4 million, but we already got a 50% bonus on the first half, so we just made 2.75 million uh, from this mission, and we'll make another, hopefully the same. Uh, so we'll be making, we, we'll be have quite, we'll have quite a lot of uh, funds and the commercial satellites is of course is uh, at least another 3.5 million so that really helps us out on the fun side of things so yeah let's move on to next month it is moon landing time i can't wait all right 85 percent launch Reliability, 75% payload reliability, 4,260 science on the line. All right. Let's go. Weather looks good. Look at that beautiful rocket. Look at that beautiful rocket. Oh, I love it. All right. Adequate conditions, we have a 3% risk of critical failure, 10% of negative effect. Let's launch. Three, two, one. Ooh, go Apollo, go. Look at it. Ooh, I'm so excited. Wow, that's some launch, man. Look at that rocket. It's huge going so slow. Go, go, go. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Yes. Yes. And it's a secure launch as well. Very nice. The Saturn V and Saturn II get a bit of experience, a bit more reliability. Achievement Unlocked Project Apollo. Perform Translunar Injection. So we have a thrust that we need to do. We have the crew. And we need to get some comms and some nav. 10 and 9 and 10 thrust. So... We need... We have... Three commands, so we need to do the thrust three times on the last turn. And that means that we actually need to get to 16 comms. 16 comms we need. Okay. That shouldn't be hard, because we're going to use our manual data collection here. That gives us four already. Then we're going to spend those four to give us ten data. We don't need data, but we can use two data to get six comms. So, confirm. Of course. Is it me, or is it the first task every time uh, just fails? I mean, it should fail one out of four times. That's one out of three times. And wow, we are having some weather in Bangkok, let me tell you. That is insane. Okay, next task. We have 10 data. So we can do one, two, three. That gives us 
all the comms that we need. Then we just need to worry about getting six. Actually, how about we do this once? Then we can do this once and this once next time. That'll give us 19 and no, 20 and six. And that's enough. Yeah. Confirm. Accept. Ooh, nice. An extra comms. Okay. So then we can do that and that. And recharge, though we don't need to. Accept. And accept. That gets us to where we want to be, because now we can do three controlled burns and get our 10% bonus reward. Confirm. We didn't use our crew much on this one, but sometimes you get too focused on using the crew because it's kind of a free resource. But sometimes it's just not the best option. Let's resist that. All right. Translunar injection complete. Achieve lunar orbit is the next task. Let's do it. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? That is just gorgeous. All righty. Eight, two, and eight we need. We don't have anything we need to deal with. So I guess that's 14, five, and 15 that we need. All right. All right. So we can start out by doing that. Get four comms. Then we can do that again, and then we can spend two of them to get three, three and two. Let's do it. Nice. And a little animation. Lovely. Lovely. Five comms we got. Wow, zero percent. Zero. How about that? Let's resist it. We have the power. And the sensor alignment was good. Okay. Let's... So we have three turns left. Three turns left. Well, if we do this again, it gets us to 12, 6, and 5. Let's do that. Accept. Accept. The nav is the problem. The nav is the problem. So I think we're going to spend two power and a comms to get six nav. Then we'll do our manual data collection. So orbital plane adjustment, manual data collection, and conduct experiments. Then we'll complete it in the next turn because then we just need to do the orbital plane adjustment and we're there. Confirm. Oh. Uh, resist. All right. Manual data collection went well, and so did the experiments. All right. So all we really need to do now is an orbital plane adjustment, and that gives us our 20% bonus reward. 
and we can even get some more power. Yeah, let's do it. And we don't even need to assist. Orbital plane adjustment went well. That's 30% bonus reward we're up to now. 10 from the last one, 30 uh, and 20 from this one. Perform lunar descent. Cool, and we'll have to work with drift here. All right. We're heading to the moon. Perform lunar descent. Okay. We need 14 comms, 10 data, 10 nav, and we can have a maximum of one drift. Okay. Well, we're going to start off with doing this again. Because it's just too efficient not to do it. Wow. We either need to use power to drift the other way, or we need to drift three the other way. So if we do this, we'll be out of drift, but that's okay. It's not until the end of the mission that we need to be within bounds, minus one to one. That gives us 10 data. We can then use a data and two power to get six of these. And a data and a nav to get five comms and adjust our drift three. So let's do it. All right. First one didn't go bad. Second one didn't go bad. And the experiments again did go bad. Dang it. Zero percent. Resist it. All right. So then we'll use two power and a data to get six nav. Then we'll use a data and a nav to get five comes and adjust our drift. And then we'll use an astronaut and two comms to get five more data. And that actually puts us right on the money for the drift. Confirm. All right, overall plane adjustment went well. Data compression went well. And the experiments went well as well. Okay. So... We're going to need to do this twice. No, we're not, because that's way too much drift. Then we can do this once. This twice. That gives us the comms we need and the nav we need. We're within our parameters. And next time, we can conduct experiments and do a manual data collection, and that should get us there. Yeah. Confirm. Data compression went well. The gyroscopic destabilization went well. And the gyroscopic stabilization went well again. Very nice. 
And that puts us within the realm of possibility. So if we do this and this, that gives us our 30% bonus reward. And we are right on the money with the drift. And we can even do a recharge just for the hell of it. Oh, manual data collection didn't go well. Someone fumbled. Someone fumbled. But we'll, uh, we'll resist it. We'll help him out. And the, con the experiments conducting went well. Accept that. That's 50% bonus reward achieved. And we are landing on the moon. This is so cool. This is so cool. I love it. Here we come. Here we come. All right, we are setting down on the moon. Cool. I love it. There's our astronaut with our flag. Ha <laughs> ha! Perform lunar descent. Done. Duck with the command module. Okay. So that's something that we need to do too. Again, we have drift to contend with. Oh man, I'm... Almost speechless. I'm loving it so much. All right, drift, and we have to contend with again. So we need 10 data, 17 nav, and we need to be right on the money. 100% on the money. We have four turns. There's absolutely no drift allowed. Absolutely no drift allowed. If we do this, then we can do so manual data collection, conduct experiments, and external sensor alignment. That takes us to eight data and it puts us drifting a little bit. Eight data, two nav. First one fails as usual. Resist. The experiments went off without a hitch and the external sensor alignment went well as well. All right. So we can do this one again. Then we can do an experiments. And then we can do a gyroscopic stabilization. Mm. Yeah, I think that'll work. Confirm. Nice. 98%. Accept. That was some extra comms. There's our data, and there's some more comms and some nav. We desperately need nav. We're still one adrift. So we're going to have to do this to get our drift back. Then I think I'll do a recharge. And one of these. 
That'll mean I need seven on the last turn. So that would be one of these. Can we do that? Huh. What if we did two of these now? That leaves us with two power. I think. I think we have to do that. All right. There's some data compression. That's not good. We have to resist it. That went well, at least. Okay. Now, we can do this. That'll take us there for that one. Then we need a recharge. And that. And that'll get us there. With power to resist. All right. And an extra 40%. So that's... 70% bonus? 90% bonus? Something? Wow. All right. We'll uh, resist that. And we will accept that. And there we go. Bonus reward. Done. <laughs> We are docking. Beautiful. And then we need to do a perf perform a controlled reentry, where we'll have to do deal with heat. Okay. Okay. So five and ten and heat. Uh, so 12 and 19, and we need to stay below 4 heat, and the heat will fluctuate by 1 to 5 per turn. Okay, so what we'll start by doing is again, some manual data collection, conduct some experiments, and then we'll do uh, gyroscopic stabilization. That gives us five comms, three data, and three uh, data, or three navs, and three data that we can use in the next turn. We have four turns to com accomplish this. And of course, the first one fails. Every freaking time. All right. Gyroscopic stabilization fails as well. Damn it. We'll resist that. System heat check. How much heat do we get? Two. Okay. So. How about we do this? And we bleed off some heat. And then we use two power and the data to get some more nav, because we need that nav. Confirm. Manual data collection went well. Uh, resist that. Come on! It's supposed to be one in four that you fail. Okay, we're up to five heat now. So that means that we can do some experiments. Then we can boost our transmission. And... We 
don't need that many comms. Let's do that. We need seven next turn then. So let's six. And then we can do uh, external sensor alignment for more. Depending on how much heat we need to bleed off. Hopefully not too much. Alright. There's data. There's our comms. And four. Okay. So, how about we do a light path control, and then two gyroscopic stabilizations. That gets us there. We can only resist once. Ah! Oh, come on, man! Okay, that worked. And that worked. Outstanding. We did it. We got our bonus. And we are s heading home in our Apollo lander. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. And some boats coming to pick us up. And wonderful. We are the first to land on the moon, guys. Yes. Crude moon landing. First, 500 extra. And then, wow. Look at that. 3,800 support and 1,065 science for six months. That is wonderful. They're recuperating, and we are well past the next funding tier. That is just awesome. And our commercial satellite is being planned. Completes in two months. Okay, what's next? Um, let's see, Mars. Request missions, none. Well, we haven't even been to Mars yet, so we can't do anything out there. Uh, the moon. Moon micrometeorites. Money is nice, but... Look at that. Look at how much science we got, man. That is fantastic. So there's some money there, but we're, we have decent money and we are going to get even more money coming in very soon. We're, we're going to get like five, six thousand extra coming in or something like that. So I'm thinking something else. Wow. What's this? vehicle upgrade minus one month vehicle build time that's actually not bad and it's a lot of support it's a lot of science for that spell space welding that's a lot of science as well I think we're going to do um, this one it has an experimental payload so it's gonna be a little bit harder but Let's do some space welding. That's a Gemini. We'll increase the crew capacity. 423,000. Build it. Alright. Two months we're doing atmospheric sampling and our commercial satellite is done building. Race to the moon one! 
The world as one held its breath as your astronaut Cole Cabone stepped onto the lunar surface, becoming the first human in history to set foot on another planet. Media outlets across the globe are praising your agency's achievement. They said they'd get there first, and they did it again, a news broadcaster announced. An extra thousand support. Yes! Mars lander research complete. The next step in exploring Mars is to send a static lander down to the surface. The lander will be required to perform a difficult landing using retro rockets or impact cushions as parachutes. Will not slow the craft sufficiently in Mars' thin atmosphere. All right, uh, I'm just coming to think. Um, we don't have Mars flyby. We don't have Mars orbit. Can we even do the Mars lander without those two? I don't know. Let's research those two, just in case. A Mars flyby research complete. A compelling fixture of Earth's night skies. Mars has inspired myth and speculation in equal measure. Sending a probe would yield unprecedented observational data, bringing human humanity closer to the red planet than ever before. All right. Next mission phase ready for the atmospheric sampling. That's more money. And the commercial satellite vehicle is ready as well. Mission training bonus increased by 300%, minus 25% payload reliability. Okay. Okay. Uh, we are going to take the um, payload training. And we're going to launch in October. One month before... China. <laughs> Get that payload nice and reliable. Select that date. Confirm mission setup. Four months and that's going. Alright, let's research Mars orbit as well. And it's time to do our atmospheric sampling. Look at that. Beautiful. Man, I can't believe we made it first, first to moon, land on the moon. That was awesome. No, no one else even has the research for it. They're like, huh? How'd they do that? Alright, 2, 3, and 4, and we have heat to contend with. So, 3, 6, and 7. Alright, we get 3 heat each turn, and we have 3 heat now. Okie dokie. I think we'll do that. That reduces heat heat once. Then we'll do atmospheric sampling, and then we'll do at some telemetry transfer. That gives us two, two, and one. We have four turns to achieve this. First one every freaking time. Resist. The second one too. All right. And a success. Wow. And three feet. So that will take us to four. We need to bleed off heat. So let's do this twice that takes us down to two heat and then we can do an atmospheric sampling or wait yeah an atmospheric sampling confirm Yet another failure. That's 50% that we've been failing now. I don't know what to say. Alright, we have two turns left. We definitely need to recharge power.
And we definitely need to bleed off some power or some uh, some heat. And then I think I want to recharge power again. Now we need to bleed off heat twice next turn. If we do this, because we'll be up to seven. Actually, we need to bleed off heat three times. Let's do it. I'm not sure that we're going to get this bonus. Certainly not now. Because we're at seven. But we don't, we, oh, we don't need to worry about the heat check this time. So... If we get one power... Oh, we can't do this. We don't have enough turns. We need to do that. That takes us to seven there. And then we need to get three... ...data, which we can't get. We're not gonna get our bonus ward. God damn it. Uh, I think I was very unlucky with... Uh, with I think I was very unlucky with the um the rolls there. If we do that, then we get that. But we're missing three of those. And the only way we can get three of those is by spending power, which we don't have. So... I guess there's nothing we can do, really. We're not gonna get our bonus reward. Damn it. Okay. Well, it's still good money. Two and a half million. Two and a half million. I'll take it. That takes us up to 5.4 million. And our commercial satellite is bringing in at least three and a half. So that takes us up to like 9 million funds. And we now have an active mission slot. Or a mission slot available. We're doing space welding. We could do earth topography. I don't really want to do that. Um... What's there at the moon? Moon micrometeorites. Money is not an issue right now. There are no requests out here. There are no requests out there. On Mercury, and there's obviously no requests on Mars because we can't even get there. Uh, we can't do a Mars flyby. Okay, let's do the Mars flyby. Actually... That's good support and science. Let's plan that. And select the payload. Build. Uh, yeah, because this all reduces the reliability. So we have standard. Build payload. Go to solar system. Right, so Gemini is complete in two months. Mariner 1 is complete in three months, and in four months, months we are launching our commercial satellite, and we are launching our commercial satellite one month before China, which will give us the reward for our vehicle research. 
So that's all good. So we'll continue on in the next one, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.